So can you can you just kind of give us an overview of what happened out there and what led to the scratch, basically? Um, it was just you know it was just kind of a unfortunate start from the beginning. Um, just the you know the dropping dogs and you know they just weren't just weren't quite doing what they what they needed to be doing. You know they didn't they didn't want to be there. Um, and uh, you know here the last little bit it's like well. Uh, when I headed out on the river, it was uh, I got out there and I'm going along, and it's like, well, all right, you know, if I keep going, it's it's for me because I've never scratched before. You know, I've only been racing three years, but I've never scratched. So if I keep going, it's just for me to, you know, say I've never done it. You know, you know. And then I started getting teary-eyed about it. I'm like, man, this is hard. And then I look up at my team, and you know, we got eight dogs going along there, and it's like, well. It's not about me right now. It's I'm here because of them, and it's not fair to ask eight dogs to go 700 miles on just on my behalf. So, no, I think uh, I mean I'm ha- currently happy with my decision at the moment. Mm-hmm. What what was it? Was it just sort of run of the mill injuries that all happened to happen at the same time? Or mostly, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, which, you know, honestly, I don't even know why, because, you know, uh, four of these, you know, and they're they're all minor, um, but minor enough for, you know, that they don't need to be running. Um, you know, they all happened in the last, basically the last little bit coming into here, and, you know, looking at my speeds on the GPS I had, you know, it's like doing eight miles an hour average, you know, so that's a, I mean, that's a slow, steady pace, so it's just, uh, you know, it's just something real unfortunate really unlucky um you know and compared to last year um you know just as far as training like i mean the team was trained incredibly this year you know we put 3000 over 3000 miles on them um and all we had was uh one dog with a couple of sore both, both the wrists sore and 3000 miles then we come here and we make it 300 miles and got uh, six sore dogs um, and last year, training for the race, you know, did 1,700 miles, which most people would say is kind of undertrained, and you know, did awesome. So it's just, uh, I think we just got really unlucky. The cards didn't lay out. How did the ice jumble play into those uh, injuries, if at all? Um, you know, it's sometimes when a dog gets sore on you, it's you know, it takes a little bit for you to to notice it, not that you wouldn't notice it right away, just the dog, you know, if it's, you know, like yourself, you pull something, you sit down, it's a few hours later before you're like, oh, wow. Um, So it's real likely that something happened out there on the ice, um, but I didn't notice anything, um, so to speak, and, you know, it wasn't, uh, the ice wasn't wasn't too awful bad. The difficult part for me on the ice was actually the the easier parts rolling into, uh, uh, I guess it was car cross. just because I had two two big dogs in the sled, so I, I was I was really working myself back there. But the dogs at that point were just chugging along, pulling me and the two 60 pounders. Car Max, you, uh, not Car Cross. Or Car Cross. Sorry. Right. Right. Thanks. Sure we're back there. Yep. Mushing seemed pretty fickle this way. Like you can do everything right, and things just don't don't happen for you. Is that kind of a frustrating reality of this? <laughs> it it is frustrating. You know, you spend. Uh, you know, especially when you you're devoting your you know your life to it and all your training and everything, it's uh, it's it's frustrating when it doesn't work out. So you know you gotta you know wonder how you're gonna improve off of that for next year. You know, in no way is this the end. We're gonna get home and heal up and train up and we'll be back. You got anything else scheduled for the season, Percy or anything? Or? Um, you know, I would love to do the Percy. Um, but probably not, just because it runs home to Eagle, and if I'm going to go to Eagle for a shorter race, I'd like to uh, stay a little while. So, you know, it would be one of those deals where I just mush in, not racing, and get to spend some time with my family still there. Um, we're currently not signed up for any other races, but do have plans of doing uh, at least the local Two Rivers 200 out where, where I'm living now, outside of Fairbanks. Thank you, Matt. That's all I got. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. All right. All right. No worries.